Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to create, award show golden title animation in After Effects, so let's see the preview. All files required to create this animation, are available in download link given in the description. So now let's start creating our golden title animation. Let's create a new composition. Name it as title animation. Set the time duration to 5 seconds. Now we will create a new solid, Name it as background. Now in effects and preset search for ramp. Add it to the background layer. Now let's change the start and end color of ramp. You can adjust the position of ramp. Now change ramp shape to radial ramp. Now change ramp scatter value to 300. Now let's add our text. Here I am using Montserrat font family. Now let's increase the font size. Now let's align the text to center. Now let's animate our text. Now go to animate, select tracking. Now in range selector 1. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for offset. Change offset value to minus 100. Now go at 1 second and 10 frames. Change offset value to 100. Now in advance. Change ramp shape to ramp up. Now for range select a 1, add property, opacity. Now change the opacity to 0%. Now select the end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text. Now let's add the reflection map image to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for offset. Add it to reflection map image. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for shift center to. Now go at end of the timeline. Now change shift center value for x axis to near about 2000. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now pre-compose the reflection map image. Name it as reflection. Now in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to reflection composition. 
Now in surface. Change bump map to text. Now change softness value to 70. Change height value to 90. Change displacement value to minus 200. Now in shading. Change specular to 100. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to reflection composition. Now in blowiness. Change blob layer to text. Now change softness value to 6. Change cutaway value to 0. In light. Change light intensity value to 120. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to reflection composition. Now let's adjust the curves to get the perfect golden color. Adjust the curves as I have shown. Perfect. Now select text composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate of text composition. Position it above the reflection composition. Now for reflection composition. Change track mat to alpha mat text. Now hide below text composition. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now select all three layer. Pre-compose them. Name it as text layer. Now select the ellipse tool. Make sure you have not selected any layer. Now draw the circle as shown. Perfect. Now for shape layer 1, press P to bring up the position. Now go at 1 second. Create a keyframe for position. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now change the position of shape layer 1 as shown. Now you can see the preview. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's create a duplicate of shape layer 1. Press Ctrl plus D to create it. Now let's pre-compose the shape layer 1. Name it as transition. Now for shape layer 2. Change fill to none. Now change the stroke to solid color. Let's change stroke width to 45. Perfect. Now pre-compose the shape layer too. Name it as line transition. Now let's add the reflection composition to the timeline. Now open the text layer composition. Now select the reflection composition. 
Now copy all effects added to reflection composition. Now come back to title composition. Select the reflection composition. Now paste all copied effects. Now in CC glass, change bump map to line transition. Now in CC blob lies, change blob layer to line transition. Now select the line reflection composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Position it over reflection composition. Now for reflection composition, change track mat to alpha mat line transition. Now hide the below line transition. Now select line and reflection composition. Now pre-compose them. Name it as transition 2. Now for transition composition. Change mode to stencil alpha. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now select the pre-rendered particle file. Add it to the timeline, place it below text layer. Now for pre-rendered particle file, change mode to screen. Now add short lens file to timeline. Place it above text layer. Now change mode to add. Perfect. You can adjust the position. Now let's create 6 to 7 duplicates of short lens. Press Ctrl plus D to create it. Now let's adjust their position. Now place them one after the other. Now select all short lens media file. Pre-compose them. Name it as short lens. Now for short lens composition, change mode to screen. Now let's add lens flare media file to timeline. Place it below the text layer. Let's adjust the position of lens flare. Now in effects and preset, search for trite tone. Add it to the lens flare. Now adjust the mid-tones color. Perfect. Now for lens flare change mode to screen. Now let's change the text composition, short lens, lens flare and particle file to 3D. Now create a new camera layer. Now create an null object. Now parent the camera to null object. Change null object to 3D. Now press P to bring up the position. Now come back to start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for position. 
Now go at end of the timeline. Change position for Z axis to near about 200. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for exposure. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for exposure. Change exposure value to 4. Now go at 1 second. Change exposure value to 0. Now press U to view created keyframes. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at one second, create a keyframe for blur radius. Change blur radius value to zero. Now come back to start of the timeline. Change blur radius value to 14. Now press U to view created keyframes. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now place the adjustment layer below transition. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our golden title animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.